In a prehistoric cave painting, there's a depiction of a hunter covered with animal skin, hunting a deer. He has a bow, but he's not using it to shoot at the reindeer. He's holding it to his mouth and playing it like a Jew's mouth harp, twanging the strings and altering the shape of his mouth. Why is he doing this instead of shooting? The answer tells us a most fascinating thing about music in ancient time. The hunter is in fact trying to cast a spell on his prey. To early man, music seemed like magic, and the magic was the main reason behind any music making. Come with me on a journey as we explore the magic of music. The Old Testament of the Bible tells us a lot about the part music played in the lives of the early people, its association with magic and the worship of various gods, and the worship of the Hebrew god Jehovah. We remember the popular story of the destruction of the walls of Jericho by the blowing of the trumpet and singing and shouting. This is a story of music making things happen miraculously or magically. Then the priests should make a long blast with the ram's horn. As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, Once upon a time. These four words, as children, we imagined the music, and immediately we would think about wonderful and fantastic fairies, beautiful princesses, brave princes. Most of us think about music always leading us to a happy place, and indeed, for the most part, this is true. However, there are darker tales which are accompanied by a more grim tone of music than the happily ever after. One which summons sadness, grief, terror, and even the macabre. On July 22nd, 1376, a rat catcher lured over a hundred children from Hamelin, Germany with the music of his flute. They were never to be seen again. This German folklore represents a gloomy or even infernal side of music used to cast a spell and trap its victims. We see music often wielded in these type of tales as powerful magic used to ensnare and bewitch. Another tale tells of the ominous beautiful song of the mermaid creatures, bewitching and seducing men at sea, only to drown them deep Whenever we listen to music, we think about our favorite song, our favorite playlist. Most of us, at least, has that one anthem that gets us through the day. Maybe a workout at the gym, maybe just vibing in traffic, studying, or just relaxing. Music has the uncanny ability to affect our emotions. It affects our emotions in such a way that is inexplicable. We find ourselves at times lost in trance, riding on the waves of its enchantment. So however you look at music, whether it's the magic or the science of carefully selecting and combining frequencies of pitch, dynamic modulations of loud and soft, tempos fast or slow, 
Kaleidoscope of timbres and tones. It matters not your favorite genre. Classical, jazz, dancehall or reggae, hip-hop or R&B. Music does something to everyone. It stimulates both hemispheres of the brain. And your body moves. You can't help but to nod your head, tap your feet, or to just get up and dance. It hypes you up, calms you down, happy, sad, excited, indifferent. Pick your potion. Music is as old as time, and it's the magic that will never die.